in the sky for the pilot of a jumbo jet coming in for a landing in New York's JFK airport. He says he saw a drone out of his cockpit window. The FAA is now investigating. And ABC's John Muller is here with the latest. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. The mystified pilot described seeing a small black drone with helicopter rotors strangely close to his plane. Who it belongs to runs the range from hobbyist to potential terrorist. This morning, the preliminary investigation includes the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Listen to this cockpit audio recording as a pilot on an Alitalia flight literally can't believe what he's seeing. So what did you say? Uh, we saw a drone, a drone aircraft. The Alitalia flight was on its final approach to JFK International Airport Monday afternoon when the pilot saw the unidentified object. Alitalia, uh, what else did you see that aircraft? Uh, about 1,500. The pilot did not take evasive action and the flight landed safely. Air traffic control shared their information with other incoming flights. Report of a drone aircraft, five mile final, 1,500 feet. Use caution, runway, three one right, search land. Third land, we'll look at the drone, we're slowing to 180 knots, JetBlue 906. Drones are small, unmanned, remote-controlled flying objects. Their non-military use is increasing as new technology makes them applicable for reconnaissance and surveillance. The FAA is investigating the incident. Of course, even if the drone belongs to a hobbyist, that doesn't make it any less dangerous to an aircraft that it collides with. Now, experts say drones will eventually become a day-to-day -day part of life used in weather and traffic reports, even for finding lost dogs and cats. But they certainly can't be flying this close to commercial jets. George.